أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم So these are the apples I'm going to review today. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight types of apple. Uh, so here, just to show you, we have here the gala or the royal gala. There's two, but we'll just um, do one, just the gala, standard gala. And then we have here a pink lady. And then we have the golden or golden delicious. And we have the brabant. And we have the Fiji. And we got the red apple and the granny smith and finally bramley uh, not in the apple form but in a pie uh, bramley is a very important um, apple you know if you do a program about apples and not mention bramley you'll do a, a great injustice i'll tell you later So let's start uh, with this <coughs> gala apple first. Um, I just cut a piece out from it. Delicious. Crunchy, no sourness. It'd be difficult to remember all the tests at the same time, so I'll, you know, I'll describe it as I test. Uh, that's a pink lady. Very firm, a bit dry inside. Usually they are see, kind of dry inside. More, more juicier than gala. Crunchy, a little bit of tanginess. Skin is a bit, what do I say, a bit hard to chew. Now uh, the next one is golden or golden delicious. These are really nice in color, yellow, golden yellow. It feels um, a bit light, not dense as the pink lady or the, the gala. It's a bit spongy, sort of airy, watery. But still delicious. And fruit. The Brabant is, if you know, it has a weight to it. It's uh, heavy, so it's uh, it's gonna be uh, dense. You see. Uh, by the way, I have got a, a tree in my garden of this tree. I'll show you that uh, later in the video. The Brabant. Uh, they're very small now at the moment. Uh, they're ripe in. August or September or something. I had it for about 10 years in my garden. It's a little tree. Uh, so let's try this sooner. Mm. It's a 
bit dull than the other three, I would say. It's maybe this particular apple, usually they are not too bad. Um, I don't have use. The skin is quite, um, quite thick, thick to chew. Mm. A bit watery, I would say. <clears throat> now, the Fiji. They usually come in, you know, in a large, but that's the only one I could find. like the other Fiji and the Gala mm. I would say the taste of the Fiji apple is different to what I've tested so far it's like sort of a rosy like a rose taste okay next we try the red the red apple I suppose after it's named after the color as you can see it's like the blood red okay so let's make it a bit quick because the video is getting longer so, yeah. It's sweet, it's a bit watery, definitely the skin is uh, not easy to chew. And now the Grand Smith, very very green and indeed it's going to be very very tangy, they're known for sourness. Grand Smith. <laughs> very sour and very tasty and with this one you can you can tell you're eating an apple the, the, the strong is so intense the smell I mean the, the taste as well and now finally we'll do the Bramley apple The brown apple, as you can see, in in there you would have the filling uh, from the the actual brown apple. Get a spoon. See that? Hmm. A taste of a brown apple is different to all the, the apples. As they are for cooking, they're very sour to eat without cooking. It has a really, you know, really nice taste. It's used for uh, cooking, as you know. Um, if you look in, if you Google or YouTube, do a YouTube search of Bramley apple. It's, this is originated in England, I, I think in uh, Nottinghamshire. And the tree, um, the, the actual tree of Bramley still exists. It's 180 years old. And all the tr all the apples you get in the UK are from that single tree. There's a program about about, about it. If I could find it, I'll add the description uh, the the link in the description. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's um, video about apples. And I never ate so much apples in a day. I've given up on apple phones, but now I'm testing the apples, so I don't know what to say. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Okay, so these are the apples in my garden, the back of my shed. There are loads of apples on this tree this year. I don't know how many are going to survive. You see? They are the size of 
apricots now at the moment. Very windy.